Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Tonight we're going to do something really spooky with this battery operated candle from Dollar Tree. All right, so this was an accidental, <laughs> an accidental project. Um, I was working on something else and so this is what I did. I took this, I don't know what you call them, they're battery operated um, candles from Dollar Tree and I took my hot glue gun and I'm just putting like globs of glue around the edge so that um, it kind of drips down the side of the candle. Um, I was doing, it's actually doing a glass one, which I have another tutorial coming out this week for, but so basically I glob it on and then I'm actually taking it and I kind of bang it against the table a little bit just to encourage it to kind of you know, roll down the side of the candle. I mean, it's this easy, friends. I was so excited when this, be listen, I was doing that other project and I was like, oh, I only have the one candle that I did. So I had to come up with two more just because three looks better than one. I don't know. Anyway, so then I came up with this and I'm like, I think I might like this even better. All right. So that's, see how it's, oh, look how spooky and cool. And this is just me banging it down just to see how fun is this? Oh, my lanta. All right, and you do go through some hot glue and just be mindful, watch yourself, make sure you're being safe and all of the things because it's hot and you don't want to burn yourself. But again, I just start at the very top and then I go around the candle. And um, I also took some moments where I took and like made it go down even further of the drips. Um, it's so kiss simple though, friends. It is. I was surprised. Now listen, traditionally I don't do spooky. I, I'm usually not a spooky girl. So this is out of the ordinary for me. But I think it's also kind of, I don't know, kind of cool. It doesn't have to be spooky. It could be chic or whatever. Um, but anyway, so see how, and this is what I was talking about, how I took some and just went down and really went down the side of the candle. Um, it just get have fun with it just play around and you know just make it look like a spooky drippy candle that's all um so then once i was done with that let it dry so that it hardens up and then i took this is just chalk all-purpose paint it's black and i'm going around the inside to make sure that i'm trying to be careful not to get the candle wick part so i'm just going on the inside and then i'm going around the outside um it's that friends it just makes me giggle how easy it was and how cool it looks. Um, and then you go over the sides and you make sure that you get all of the um, hot glue. And I made sure to really, you know, like take your brush and really go into all the nooks and crannies because you want it to look like it's a real black candle, right? But just go all the way around. And um, this, what's it called? Paint. <laughs> Words are hard. Love me through it. Um, just go around and make sure that the paint dries really well. Um, don't mess with the paint once you really put it on there or else you'll kind of smudge it. But friends, look, and yes, I am using a makeup brush to apply because they work the best. But anyways, friends, look at how cool this is. Anywho, friends, thanks so much for watching.